New this noon, President Biden says he is firmly committed to staying in the 2024 presidential race, quote, despite speculation in the press and elsewhere. In a letter sent to congressional Democrats, Mr. Biden said the voters of the Democratic Party have voted and selected him as their presumptive nominee to beat Donald Trump. Some Democratic lawmakers have called on the president to step aside from the race after his poor debate performance last month. The president and CEO of WURD Radio spoke this morning about a controversy involving one of the station's hosts. This comes after the Philly station said it mutually parted ways with the host after she chose to use questions provided in advance by the White House during an interview with President Biden. Here's Ross DiMattei. WURD's president and CEO addressed the situation on air earlier this morning. She blamed the Biden administration for intentionally bypassing station management to set up this interview with one of Word's hosts and sending her suggested questions ahead of time. Effective immediately, I am no longer an on-air host at WURD. In this video posted on Instagram on Sunday, Andrea Lawful Sanders announced she is leaving WURD radio effective immediately. I tendered my resignation yesterday. I'm glad that you all were patient. Lawful Sanders hosted a show called The Source on WURD. She recently made headlines for her interview with President Biden, which aired on July 4th following the president's poor debate performance. I have a few questions for you. The first sure. one is, a lot of people are talking about the debate and your performance. Is there any reason for the American people to be concerned? No, I had a bad debate. <laughs> yeah. I had a bad debate. Days after the interview, Lawful Sanders admitted to CNN that the interview was based on questions that were given to her ahead of time by the Biden campaign. Yes, I, I got several questions, eight of them, and the four that were chosen were the ones that I approved. A spokesperson for the Biden campaign told CBS News, quote, We do not condition interviews on acceptance of these questions, and hosts are always free to ask the questions they think will best inform their listeners. Our protocol is that any interview from the White House that comes in has to go through our general manager, Ashanti Martin, so that she can be aware of, of all the different interviews and who's doing what, et cetera, et cetera. And so that was intentionally bypassed by the administration, and that created a lot of chaos. WURD President and CEO Sarah Lomax clarified the situation on air earlier this morning, claiming management didn't know about the interview, nor the list of suggested questions sent by the Biden administration. You don't feel compelled to use those questions, and I don't know, you know if, if that was a condition or whatever, but I'm sure it wasn't. Now, a source within the Biden campaign tells CBS News that moving forward, it will refrain from offering suggested questions. We did reach out to Lawful Sanders for comment, but we're w still waiting to hear back. Back to you.